Welcome to Camping with Steve. I had a hankering to do some camping, so a beautiful wife is just dropping me off at this van and gas station with a whole bunch of gear. Let's get this party started. Pure comfort today. The beautiful wife is just driving away and I've got that feeling again. What have I done? So I'm gonna get this stuff out of view here and into this abandoned building. side here. Somebody else has done the heavy lifting for me, broken out all the glass, and uh, that door's been opened. So inside of here, this is what we got. There's one room, there's a, a hole there that goes into other parts. I don't know if I really want to crawl through that, but uh, if you'd seen in another shot, there's a truck out there. It's actually just the trailer off of a semi, and that's uh, parked there without a truck so it's just kind of in storage here and I'm gonna walk around this thing and see if there's a less conspicuous spot to be hanging out <laughs> perfect this is way more out of the wind there's a whole deck here and everything so this is probably where I'm gonna hang out for most of this trip there's doors here gas pump. It smells a little musty in here, but actually not too bad at all. It smells like basically just a shed. Perfect. This will take just a couple quick trips to get what I need to around back. So that's where I want to be tonight. got some of the stuff back here the beer is still over there that's the important part and there's somebody out there touristy like taking pictures and stuff so I'm gonna lay low for a little here okay they're gone there are some farmers working in adjacent fields so I have to lay a little bit low and there's a ton of traffic that comes by here, especially with country rush hour coming up here. Shelter is secured. This will be great. There's a vicious wind tonight. It's supposed to be up to 100 kilometers or 60 miles, but it's coming that way, and my door's right here. So there shouldn't be any problems keeping warm and comfortable tonight with the shelter secured. It's time to crack. A frosty step two. I haven't had this before. It's really good. Uh, I like it. A healthy balance of malt and hops. How about that for a concept? I put my gear behind this old ice cooler so that if somebody comes along, it doesn't look like I'm moving into the place. And it looks like the coast is clear after that truck there. So I'm gonna go into the other part of this gas station and we're gonna check this out. Okay. It's definitely abandoned. I'll get some flashlights with me for this job. So the floor is in pretty pretty decent condition other than all the broken glass and uh, I got to touch on trespass laws a little bit here because I know the bootlickers are going to be out in full force when they see this video and I'll just explain how my interpretation of the law means this is just fine
Oh, well, there's some washrooms, not in service, of course. Here's the hole in the wall. That's from the front part of the building. And let's see. It's like an old restaurant down here, perhaps. Room. I did see a sign that there was a restaurant. Food handlers only. Okay. It wasn't really a fully equipped kitchen by the looks of things. However, this is what it was. I think this is all there is to the building here. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. It is what it is. Not too much was left behind. It looks like it was closed for, well, it's got to be at least since 2007, I think, around there, judging by the reviews of this place I saw online. So it's, uh, yeah, it's certainly abandoned, I'll say that. I had to look this up just to be certain, but the deals on the trespass laws in Alberta are that there has to be a no trespassing sign at every normal entrance to the property, or you have to be told verbally or in writing that you're not allowed on the property. None of those apply here. There are signs when you come onto the property that uh, have the county logo on them. So my suspicion is that this was taken over by the county due to lack of taxes being paid. I could be wrong, but if I'm asked to move, I will move along no problems, but as far as I can tell, this seems to be a county asset that doesn't have any no trespassing signs on it. So I think we are good here. The last time this gas pump pumped gas was 89.9 .9 cents a liter. Those days are gone. Out behind the gas station here, there's actually five or six powered RV sites along there. So this was once a kind of a bustling place by the looks of it. Things keep on getting more interesting around here. The Wind is supposed to go all through the night at gusts of 100, so 60 miles an hour. This thing steams pretty sturdy, so that's a plus. On the downside, there's a wildfire down the road. I'm trying to look up exactly where it is and what the status on that is, but I can see a lot of smoke blowing through, and the way it looks, that fire is like in between where the wind's blowing and here. So I gotta try and uh, keep a close eye on that but I also want to walk around if I get a break in the wind here to show you the rest of the outside of the building because this is one of the cooler places. As a matter of fact, it's working out to be fantastic shelter just based on the way this room is. So this is <laughs> going to be an interesting night. Let's go. I apologize if the audio cuts out when I go around the corner because there is some substantial winds. But this portion of the uh, building it's on a skid, so that's not blowing over in the wind. There is a single wide trailer right behind there. And it looks like whoever worked here probably was living there. Or if the county owned this thing, they would provide accommodations over there for the staff. And I don't see anybody, don't see anything other than a lot of haze in the air. Let's go. Another one of our old payphone friends here. There is no luck that that's going to work. It's missing its handle. Um, the rest of this little porch here. 
certainly used to be a thriving business, I think, because there's Dinosaur National Park just down the road, and uh, it's a World Heritage Site. A bunch of cool stuff there. There's garbage can for my garbage. Oh boy. People have thrown in water bottles. I don't think there's water in there. It's the way of the road. Um, old ATM here. It's full of money. No, it's not full of money, obviously. But uh, I'm sure that machine itself is worth something. I don't know why it'd be just left here on its own. And you got all these uh, people that have traveled through, leaving their little mark on on this spot. And yeah, this, this truck's still here, so I don't know what's going on there. definitely getting smoky out there and the fire is about 100 kilometers or 60 miles in the direction of the wind coming this way at the same speed as the wind so we'll see what happens but my bags are packed and I'm ready to go I gotta point out that Alberta is the only rat-free province or territory in North America. So they've been wiped out here since the 50s, I think. And there is actually rat patrols on all the borders and rail lines that keep them out of here. So I've got no worries about rats, mice. I've seen a few droppings here and there, but there's nothing here for them food-wise. I think it's gonna be a cozy night with not too many critters. I discovered this thing is still working. Slides open and shut, just like the door on a box cart. Perfect. This will be a fantastic night in here. Get from the heavens. Our sun is going down a little bit. So, grabbing the food bag, we're gonna head into the kitchen. Got to cook in the kitchen, right? Oh, yeah. I could cook on here, maybe. Oh, somebody's been drinking. There's an empty beer in here. Wasn't me. Now, what does it look like in here? Uh. That looks pretty gross. Um, now what was this? Oh, just a back storage room spot. Right. Oh, this looks equally bad. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna cook. <laughs> I'm gonna find the least disgusting place in here. actually pretty good. This is clearly the most disgusting place I've ever tried to cook in, but this surface had the least rodent droppings on it. So, Everything is staying sealed until the magic moment of cooking. Don't even want to set anything down here. Well, I'm just gonna get this area prepped for this evening's meal. And then we're gonna wander back out and keep our eyes out for any people that might be scoping around for uh, stealth campers.
This is one of those stealth camping spots that's just perfect. It seems like there should be a problem, but there isn't. Uh, that's got me concerned. There's a vehicle right now. Just a fellow uh, driving the truck. Yeah, I brought a lot of hand sanitizer on this trip because I figured there could be rodentish issues. And thankfully, I haven't seen a bat yet. Oh, why did I say that? Before the sun goes down completely, there's an extra bonus. There's an old trailer here we're going to look into because the doors are open and there's no sign that says we shouldn't do it. So let's go. first person to come here. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Well, this could have been a nice place for the night. Oh, there's even a bed. Oh, there's some droppings on that, so I don't know if that would be good. Oh, oh boy. Wouldn't use that toilet. Okay, wow. That looks like a new mattress almost. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Well, this place is a little bit uh, disheveled obviously and it's really sad um, I have no idea no idea what happened here but looks like looks like people left in a hurry and then this place got pretty much destroyed so yeah we'll get out of here and go cook some dinner Good to be out of the wind and back home. Somebody just pulled up here and I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna wait for everything to blow over. Now, we're cooking. Nothing has touched the surface of this counter, thankfully. Now we're cooking, Steve. Rice here is just simmering away, ready, almost ready. And then we're going to be cooking uh, a little sukiyaki beef. Beautiful wife got me hooked on Edo. 
never had it before, but they actually sell the sauce from that restaurant. And I thought it was like all sushi, but they make a good beef uh, stir fried rice thing, which is what I'm trying tonight. Oh wow, that came out one giant portion. This uh, sukiyaki beef with rice. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna set up the cup here behind the ice machine. And I got my sleeping bags drying out still a little wet from the last camping experience. But that way, if anybody walks in, I might have a chance of not being seen, which is extra good. And beautiful wife has got her alarm set for about eight o'clock in the morning, so should be out of here pretty quick anyway, but you never know. behind the ice machine which is good Get my sleeping bags going and uh, before I hit the hay I have to give a huge shout out to the people that are making this possible and uh, I can't say enough good things about you I also have to watch these videos, so I shy away from any type of sponsorship. Um, I'll be watching these things when I'm too old to be doing these stealth camping or even regular camping adventures. And the last thing I'm going to want to see is me shilling some razor or whatever at the start of the video. So, thank you all. Um, so much appreciated. And I guess <laughs> we're just on this extremely strange ride together. So, uh, cheers to step twos at home. Oh, there's my last one. And there it is. Oh yes. Thank you all so much. And we're about to hunger down and pray that nothing untoward happens this evening. <laughs> mm. No shortage of sleeping bags tonight. And they're nice and hidden in case that door swings open. I think it's been a successful night so far. And hunkering down has never been this fun and uh, memorable. So, well, see you guys in the morning.
Good morning. The uh, wildfires aren't a concern, which is good. But looks like this outside. That's bad. So beautiful wife is going to come fetch me and I have told her to go slow on the roads for sure and be super careful because we don't want any problems here. But this was an awesome sleep in here. This is the uh, the way to do it. Uh, best probably sleep I've had stealthing uh, in a very long time, possibly ever. Being inside out of the wind and the snow made all the difference. All packed up and ready to go, but it's whiteout conditions out there. So beautiful wife, she tried to start coming this way, but it's too bad. There's too many cars in the ditch. So I'm uh, just gonna chill here for a bit. And yeah, it's like pure whiteout conditions. Uh, I haven't seen anybody really going down the highway. So um, I'm here for a while. I'm gonna have to ration my water and I still got some food left, so if I have to do another night, uh, I, I can do that. But it's at least that's not minus 20. It's not too bad today, temperature wise. I think minus 6 Celsius. What's that Fahrenheit? Probably in the 20s. I'm not sure. Truly hunkered down now, waiting. Uh, the snow's not supposed to lift for another couple of hours but we'll see what happens. Uh, beautiful wife did make it to the main highway from the little town that we're in, and she's, uh, she's pulled over in a safe spot, and as soon as things uh, lift up, she'll keep trying to get a little further to come get me, but uh, I told her to just don't go unless it's absolutely safe, because I'm gonna be okay here, and uh, it sure beats the trouble out on the roads right now. She said there's cars in the ditches all over the place, so she's got to stay put and uh, go slowly if she decides to drive on any further. Okay, I got a call. She says she's here. I'll go around to the front to try and. Uh... Oh, there she is. Hi there, I can see you. Huh. All right. And we'll get in the car, drive around, load this stuff up, and get out of this uh, <laughs> this winter wonderland that seems to keep happening to us. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, this is really the end this time. <laughs> See you guys later.